Hey everybody, this is Pastor Lynn. Good morning and welcome to another Take 5 Daily Devotional as we continue walking through the book of James. And this morning, I want to take you back to the first chapter. We've been talking about being doers of the word and not hearers because when you're a hearer and not a doer of the word, you end up self-deceived, the Bible says. So I want to take you down today and we were talking... uh, yesterday about laying aside all of the stuff on the inside of me and instead planting the word of God inside of me, which is able to save my soul, refresh my soul. We're talking about the biblical way to respond during a time or a season of crisis. Now I want to take you to verse 22. I'm going to start at 22, but we're going to focus on verse 23 today. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of a man he was. So now we're talking about the Bible being like a mirror. When I'm in a crisis, I tend to react certain kind of ways. James has been talking about this for several verses. But then he says the word of God is not only planted in you, but he says it's like a mirror that you look into. And it shows you something about yourself. But he says when you read it or when you hear it and you don't apply it, you're not acting it out in your life. It's like looking in a mirror, walking away and forgetting what kind of a man you are. It's like if somebody asked me to email them about how I look, I go look in the mirror and then I go to my email and I say, I have flowing blonde hair and I'm clean shaven and I have a petite neck. Don't laugh. That would be ridiculous because what I saw in the mirror would be very different than what I just described to somebody in how I actually was. So what the Bible tells us to do is to look in the mirror of God's word. And I know for some of us, looking in the mirror might not be the high point of your day. I look in the mirror and I see this older, chubbier guy who resembles me, but I have no idea who he is. That's what happens a lot of times when we look into the word of God. We're reading something and it doesn't really resemble who we are. The Bible says, let his word reflect into you. Don't forget it and become or act out or do what he says. So what we end up doing oftentimes is we let the world around us become our our mirror. We let people become our mirror. Just let somebody get angry with you in traffic. Let them start honking and yelling at you. What happens? You mirror back what they do to you. Let somebody get uh, uh, onto you, let your husband or wife get mad at you. What happens? you end up mirroring back what they do. Because a lot of times we're hearers of the word, but we're doers of what's around us. We hear what the word says about this time that we're in and the crisis we're in and what God thinks, but we want to react like the world says to react. So the world and our culture and our spouse and our circumstances become our mirror instead of God's word. But God says, let my word become your mirror and let your life reflect what God's word says and what God's word says about you. So understand today, as we're looking into this word of God, it's something that's planted in you and it's something that reflects you. Read it, become it, live it out. Don't just be a hearer, be a doer. Don't forget what God's word says and let your life and your reaction to the times and seasons that we live in, let that, this word right here, let that be your reflection, both to you, to those around you and to the world. Amen. That's how we respond in a time of crisis or any time. Lord, we thank you today for your word that is our mirror. Lord, just just let your word look into us. Let it speak to us. Let Let something in us reflect back, Lord, from your word to the world. Let us be doers in the way that what God's word says gets into me and I get that out of me everywhere I go. Lord, show us, God, how to be reflectors of light 
because your word is light. You are light, God. And let everyone watching today be stirred up in their hearts. Let them be blessed abundantly, God, and let them see the fruit of your word operating in their life. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.